So I'm uh, Nir Khan, I'm the Director of Design for Plasan. As always we're showing a few different things here. Um, one of the products that we're showing here is the Atom. One of the main vehicles is actually up on display on the GM Defence Stand. Atom is a bit of a complex product to, to explain. It may look like a trailer, but it very much is not a trailer. It is an electric platform, it has its own power, it has its own batteries and motor, it has its own steering, and when it's connected behind a vehicle, it basically turns any old diesel 4x4 into a hybrid electric 6x6. The steering and the throttle, the power, is all powered automatically. So the driver just drives conventionally. And even in reverse, he just drives conventionally. It's not like a trailer. It doesn't jackknife. It behaves like a four-wheel steer 6x6. You can also use two Atom modules together to create an 8x8. Again, a hybrid electric 8x8. This, of course, increases payload. It allows you to carry more than you would otherwise have been able to carry. But the real bonus of the Atom is when you get where you're going. So you get where you're going, you're still fully charged because the vehicle has been working as a hybrid system, it self-charges from the kinetic energy of the lead vehicle, and you can now disconnect it and use it as a, a robotic platform. So this can be something that you're doing on the way to where you're going. You can send Atom up ahead by remote control to do a recce, or you can also use it, as I say, as a fully independent robotic platform whether that's remote control or with an AI to be a fully autonomous vehicle. So you can put whatever payload you like onto Atom, whether it's a permanent payload or a temporary payload, and that could be logistics, or of course it could be a weapon system, it could be a drone carrier, it could be a 30 mil, it could be spike missile system or other, some other ATGM system. Um, it really is a very, very flexible platform. One of the problems that we're solving with Atom, other robotic platforms that are elsewhere on the show, but none of them have really solved the problem of how do you bring the platform to where you're going to use it? Yeah, what are you going to do? Put a, a load of them onto the back of a, a flatbed truck and trailer them out. The whole reason you want an autonomous or a remotely controlled platform is because you want to use it somewhere that's dangerous. You don't want to have to take a truck there to be able to use it. With Atom, you take it there behind any light vehicle or any other vehicle that you're taking there. You're adding functionality while you're going, actually adding power, adding payload while you're going. And then when you get there, you've got a whole other different set of functionality. We don't just add protection to existing vehicles. We really design the protection into the vehicle. Um, we've been responsible on the wall behind me here. You can see that we've been involved in most, if not all, of the major programs of uh, the last 15 years at least, where plasan has been a design partner. We've been responsible for designing the armoured cabin or the armoured hull of various platforms, whether it was uh, MRAP, MaxPro, MATV, JOTV, uh, Hawkeye in Australia and, and many, many others. CTT is a, another major upcoming programme that uh, we uh, intend to be part of, together with an OEM, of course. And Plasan is offering here a really modular and common system. The whole point of the CTT, the common tactical truck, is commonality and modularity as a system. It's a, it's a wide family of trucks. It isn't just one truck. It's a 4x4 and a 6x6 and an 8x8 and it's a tractor trailer. It's going to be fulfilling lots of different uh, roles and missions. And the cabin itself also needs to have that kind of modularity. So we're proposing using our unique kitted hull architecture, which is a bolted and bonded uh, vehicle architecture, we are proposing a cab that uh, works kind of like a Lego kit. So you will have a box of bits. The OEM, the vehicle manufacturer, will have a, a box of parts from which they can configure different cabs for each of those different trucks. Different levels of protection. There's inherent modularity in, uh, built into the design so that it can be anything basically between Stanag 1 to Stanag 4 with and without uh, mine protection. And that allows the, the OEM and the end user to really configure the cab. One of the advantages of the, of the kitted hull, the bolted and bonded kitted hull, which we use extensively, as I say, on MRAP, MATV and JLTV, um, is, is the consistency of manufacture. By not having welding on the assembly line, it gives us much more control of the quality of the welding. Um, the, the little welding that there is there, and so there's much more consistency across the, across the fleet in terms of protection. And this has been well proven with the, uh, with the MRAPs that have been fielded over the last 15 years.